Hi! In this video, we're going to learn how to factor a quadratic trinomial. In other words, we're going to take something that looks like this and turn it into two binomials. I'm going to show you a method today that I call the grid. It's actually an area model, and it's very effective for factoring quadratic trinomials. I do want to mention that there are several different methods that you can use out there to factor these expressions, and so if you don't like this model, you might want to search YouTube or Google um, to find other ways to do this. Let's take a look. Let's begin by understanding what a quadratic trinomial is. First of all, we know a trinomial has three terms. A quadratic trinomial has a very particular form, ax squared plus bx plus c. a, b, and c are some numbers. Here are two trinomials. Take a look at the first one, 3x squared plus 10x plus 8. That's a quadratic trinomial. The second one, 5x to the third plus 2x minus 7. It looks close, but notice it doesn't have the right form. It doesn't have ax squared, it has ax to the third. This one is not a quadratic trinomial. The first expression you could factor using the method that I'm going to show you today. The second expression you could not. Let's begin. We want to factor 2x squared minus 11x plus 12. Let's see how we begin. The first thing we do is we always take what we have in the front, 2x squared, and we put it in this part of the grid. Notice I have a 2 by 2 grid, and I'm going to fill that in with numbers. The 12 at the end will go right down here, plus 12. And now I need to figure out what goes in these two boxes here. And this is how I do that. I take my first and my last, 2 times 12, they multiply to 24. I need two numbers that multiply to 24 and that add up to negative 11. Can you come up with two numbers that multiply to 24 and add to negative 11? How about negative 8 and negative 3? Negative 8 times negative 3 equals 24, and negative 8 plus negative 3 equals negative 11. Those are my two numbers, and I use those to fill in the boxes. I'm going to put them in here with the variable x, and it doesn't matter which one I put in which box. I'm going to put minus 8x here and minus 3x here, but I could have done it the other way and there'd be no problem at all. And now I begin the process of factoring, and here's how I do it. I begin by looking across the top here, and I'm looking for the greatest common factor. What is the greatest common factor of 2x squared and minus 8x? 2x. So I put 2x out in front. And now I'll use multiplication to fill in the rest of the spaces. I need to have something here, here, and down here. Here's how I get those. 2x times something equals 2x squared. 2x times what is 2x squared? 2x times x. And so I put an x right there. Now this spot over here, 2x times something is minus 8x. 2x times what is minus 8x? 2x times negative 4 gives me negative 8x. And now I have my top spaces filled in. How about down here? x times something is negative 3x. x times what equals negative 3x? x times negative 3. And finally, I can check negative 4 times negative 3. They do multiply to positive 12. Now, I go on the outsides to get my factors. I have 2x minus 3 here, that's my first binomial, and up at the top here I have x minus 4, that is my second binomial. And there is the factored form of that trinomial. A common question that's asked is if the order matters. Could I write these as x minus 4 times 2x minus 3? The answer is absolutely yes, you could by the commutative property of multiplication. Let's try another example. We want to factor the trinomial 3x squared plus 10x plus 8. We begin by filling in the grid. We have 3x squared, which will go right here in the top left, and we have plus 8, which will go down here on the bottom right. Now we need to figure out what goes in these two boxes so that we can continue the problem. We look at what we have here, 3 and 8, 
3 times 8 is 24. We want numbers that multiply to 24. The middle number is 10. We want numbers that add to 10, 6 and 4. We'll put those numbers in these boxes with the variable of the center term x. So we'll put a 6x and a 4x. I could have written the 4x here and the 6x here. It would work out the same in the end. Um, so don't worry about which one you put in which space. Now, let's go and factor. Let's begin by looking across the top right here. We need to write the common factor out in front. What is the common factor of 3x squared and 6x? That's right, 3x. So we put a 3x out front. And now we use our multiplication to fill in the other spaces around the grid. 3x times something is 3x squared. 3x times what is 3x squared? 3x times x. So I put an x right there. Now let's use multiplication to fill in the next spot. 3x times something is 6x. 3x times what is 6x? 3x times 2. So I'll put a positive 2 right there. 3x times 2 is 6x. And now we'll multiply to get down here. x times something is 4x. x times what equals 4x? x times 4. So I'll put a positive 4 right there. And then my check, these two numbers here, 2 times 4, should equal what's in that last spot, 8, and they do. From the outside, I get my two factors, 3x plus 4 times x plus 2. Or I could write them in the other order, of course. I could write x plus 2 times 3x plus 4. Let's try another example. This one's for you to try. Can you factor the trinomial 10x squared minus 9x plus 2? Pause the video here and give it a try. Let's see how you did. We begin by writing the 10x squared in the top left part of the grid. And then we write the plus 2 in the bottom right part of the grid. Now we need to find out what we put in these two spots here. We take the first times the last, 10 times 2. 10 times 2 is 20. We need numbers that multiply to 20. And they need to add to negative 9. Can you come up with numbers that multiply to 20 and add to negative 9? Sure, negative 4 and negative 5. Negative 4 times negative 5 is 20. And negative 4 plus negative 5 is negative 9. We put those in these spots right here. And it doesn't matter which one goes in which spot. I'm going to put minus 4x here and minus 5x here, but of course you could have reversed them and it would come out the same. I'll look across the top right here and I'm looking for the greatest common factor of 10x squared and 4x. That greatest common factor is 2x. I'll then use multiplication to do the other spots around the grid. Boom, 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 there they are. 2x times what is 10x squared? 2x times 5x is 10x squared. 2x times what is negative 4x? 2x times negative 2. Now we'll go down here. 5x times something is negative 5x. 5x times what is negative 5x? 5x times negative 1. So I'll put a negative 1. And then I'll do my check. Negative 2 times negative 1 equals positive 2. It looks like I found my factors. In factored form, I have 5x minus 2 times 2x minus 1. And of course, I could write those in the opposite order if I needed to. 2x minus 1 and 5x minus 2. It doesn't matter which one you do. Now, here's an interesting problem right here to try. We want to factor x squared minus 2x minus 24. It's very much like the others. Notice there's no number in front of the x squared, so we know that's actually a 1x squared, and we put that in our first box right here. Our final number, our c term, is minus 24, and so I put that right there. I need numbers that multiply to 1 times negative 24, so multiply to negative 24, and add up to negative 2. What numbers multiply to negative 24 and add to negative 2? Well, how about negative 6 and 4? Negative 6 times 4 is negative 24. 
and negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. Now I can put those numbers right in the box here. And again, it doesn't matter which one I put where. So I'll put the 6x up there and the 4x down here. And now I'll begin my process of factoring. I begin by looking for the common factor across the top. The common factor is simply x. So I put the x out front here. And now I use multiplication to fill in the rest of the spots. Here, here, and here. x times something is x squared. x times what? x times x. So I'll put an x right there. x times something is negative 6x. x times what is negative 6x? x times negative 6. And now I'll multiply here. x times something gives me 4x. x times what is 4x? Well, x times 4. So I'll put plus 4. So my factors are x minus 6 and x plus 4. Now you might notice right here when we chose our numbers, we had a negative 6 and a positive 4. And in our factors, we actually here have a minus 6 and a plus 4. That's no coincidence. Whenever you have a 1x squared, and this only happens when you have a 1x squared, whenever you have a 1x squared, the two numbers will be the numbers in the parentheses. Here's one for you to try. Can you factor x squared plus 3x minus 10? Pause the video here and give it a try. Let's see how you did. We begin by putting our x squared in the first box and our minus 10 in the last box. We need to find the numbers for these two boxes. So we have 1 times negative 10. We want numbers that multiply to negative 10 and add to positive 3. What numbers multiply to negative 10 and add to positive 3? Well, how about 5 and negative 2? 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, and 5 plus negative 2 is positive 3. Now, because this is an easy one, meaning we have a 1x squared, I know these numbers will be in my factors. So I actually can factor it right now, x plus 5 times x minus 2, with no further work required. But maybe you want to use the grid, and if you do, that's okay. We could put plus 5x here and minus 2x here. And when we do that, we now go across, look for our common factor. Our common factor is x, so we put the x out front. And then we use multiplication to fill in the other spots. x times something is x squared. x times what is x squared? x times x. x times something is 5x. x times what is 5x? x times 5. And now x times something is negative 2x. x times what is negative 2x? minus 2. And notice I have my factors x plus 5 and x minus 2. Now remember, this trick of these two numbers here actually being the numbers in the binomials only works when x squared is 1x squared. Let's end today with one last example. Can you factor the trinomial 2x squared plus 1x minus 6? Pause the video here and let's see how you do. Let's see how you did. We begin by putting our 2x squared in the top left box. We put our minus 6 in the bottom right box. We now need to figure out what numbers go in here. And we get that by multiplying 2 times negative 6. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. And I need numbers that add to 1. What numbers multiply to negative 12 and add to positive 1? Well, how about negative 3 and 4? Negative 3, positive 4. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Negative 3 plus 4 is positive 1. It looks like I found my numbers. And now I'll put them into the grid. Minus 3x plus 4x. And again, it doesn't matter which one I put in which space. Now I do my greatest common factor across the top. Greatest common factor of 2x squared and minus 3x is simply x. And now I'll use multiplication to get the other spots around the grid. x times what is 2x squared? x times 2x. So I'll put a 2x right there. x times something is negative 3x. x times what is negative 3x? x times negative 3. So I'll put a minus 3 right there. 2x times something is 4x. 
2x times what is 4x? 2x times 2. So I'll put a plus 2 right there. And now I'll check. Negative 3 times positive 2 comes out to negative 6. I guess I picked my numbers correctly. From here I go on the outside and I get my factors x plus 2 and 2x minus 3. Or of course I could have 2x minus 3 and x plus 2. And now you know enough to get started by factoring quadratic trinomials using the grid.